Hello, my name is Guy Baker. I am a solutions consultant at Beyond 20. In this video, we will demonstrate the Beyond 20 rich text knowledge articles for ShareWell. This system allows users the ability to create and use rich text templates for knowledge articles in the ShareWell management system. It also includes dashboards for knowledge management in ShareWell. There are two main components to the Beyond 20 approach to using rich text templates for creating knowledge articles. The process begins with a lookup table containing rich text layouts. These layouts are then used to create rich text templates for specific article types, which in turn are used to create the actual knowledge articles. Let's begin by demonstrating how to create a basic layout for a rich text template. We begin by going to Tools and then selecting Table Management. And then we select our KA template layout. And then we'll simply click on the new button to create a new layout. Next, we want to give our layout a description. We'll just call this one Beyond 20 Basic Layout. And we could be more specific than that if we wanted. We could also say that it's going to have three rows and one column. Now we want to click our mouse into the body text area and then click on the rich text editor which is this little magnifying glass right here at the top. That will then open up our rich text editor which looks very similar to the Microsoft Word or other text editors that you have seen that use rich text. And our approach we recommend that you use a table design. So we're going to go ahead and insert a table. And we want the table to have a single column and three rows. So we'll click on that. And now you see that it's each row has the height of the default font, which was only eight pixels. So we want to adjust that. We'll go up here to table and then we'll click on our options. We also want this table to fit inside of a letter size document. So we'll go to Table Properties, and we'll tell it that the preferred width is going to be 7.5 inches. And we'll leave the alignment to the left, and then we'll go over here to the rows, and we'll say that we want the preferred height to be one-third of 3.33. Okay, so and then we want the columns to also be seven and a half inches and the cells to be seven and a half inches. And then in the cell, we want to tell where do we want the text to be vertically aligned to. Do we want it to align at the top, the bottom, or the center? I'm just going to leave this one in the center. And we'll leave our margins alone, but this we could, if we uncheck this, we could put specific margins on each one. We also want our text to wrap or fit the text. So if you select wrap, it'll just create a new line when it hits the edge of the cell. If you hit fit text, it will decrease the font. We'll leave that at wrap text. And so now we have our first cell is set correctly the way we want it. Let's go ahead and do the same for the second cell. By the way, the table properties is a little misleading because it's actually the cell properties. If you have the cursor entered in a specific cell. So in our second cell, let's say that that second cell, we want that to be, we can actually do a couple of nice things with it. So we already have our preferred width there. 
but then over here on the row we want to specify that row height and we're going to make that 3.33 also the columns and the cells both stay the same but notice we still have to go over here until we want this one to be centered for our vertical alignment so now our first cell will be like our title cell we're going to change our uh, well let's let's add a logo first so go ahead and insert a picture now when you insert pictures you don't want the actual dimensions of the picture to be larger than the table otherwise it will expand that table out to fit the picture so what I've done here is I've already created uh, an image that's the right size and so it's perfectly aligned in there and now we're going to call this we're going to go ahead and give this a title so we're going to make our title text here let's give it about 22 points let's make it bold let's make it centered so that's all we do there for our layout and then down here let's go ahead and make that one our footer so we'll just go up here to our table and instead of making that three inches let's just make that one inch on our table properties so we'll specify the height as one inch okay now we're ready to save this so we'll click OK and we'll click Save and next we'll be ready to use this layout to create a knowledge article template So to create a knowledge article template, you simply go to the new button and select new knowledge article template. And then we're going to give this one a name. So we're going to call this the beyond 20 FAQ template. And then we'll go over here and we'll select our layout. We're going to use our basic layout we created earlier. And then we're going to select the article type that this one will apply to. So it's an FAQ. And now we're ready to use the preset layout. So we'll go ahead and click on the Use Preset Layout button. And as you see, we have our layout here. And then when we open up our Rich Text Editor, and I wanted to show you something here. So notice that in the Rich Text Editor, our logo that our image that we imported is full size and it's perfectly centered the way we wanted it in the table cell but in our non-rich text view we only see like a thumbnail of that image so we don't see the full image in the non-rich text view so that's that's an important thing to note going forward okay so now we want to change this from the title being a basic one column three row layout this is now going to be a template so we're going to call this beyond 20 faq template and then we'll we can add our content right here and we can add content either by typing in content or by cutting and pasting so before we go any further we need to adjust the cells that we've created in our layout for our knowledge article template. So in this case, we have the cell centering to be middle of the, in the vertical alignment for this cell to be in the middle, but we want it to actually be at the top. So I'm gonna go back up to table management and I'm gonna to go to cell alignment and I'm going to say that I want it to be top left. And then I don't want to have borders around this knowledge article necessarily. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the borders from the first cell where I have my logo and my document title. And what I can do there is I um, already got this set. So I'm going to make this a little bigger, 22 points and bold. And then I want to go to my table properties and just click on the table properties here. And I'm going to go to borders and shading. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all the borders in that cell. And then I want to add some shading so that I have a little bit of a 
a light blue or a light orange background on it. It's actually a little bit too dark of an orange there, but not too far off. So we can click on more colors here, and we can just get the color we want. Okay, and now we want this to be down one. There we go. So we have a little bit of space. So now we've set that portion of our document the way we like it. Now the next piece will be to add content. Now in adding content, we can either cut and paste if we've already have some set up. And I actually do. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste some of the content that I have in here. Let's say that down below here in our footer, we want to add some specific stuff into the footer. We can go ahead and just type that directly in. FAQ template. And now this is not as uh, big as we want. Let's go ahead and make this font a little bit bigger. And remember, you can change the size in here. So there's two ways you could have changed the size. We could either drag this down to make the cell above it bigger, or we can drag this one up to make that row smaller. Or we could have gone into cell alignment or into the table properties, back over to row, and then just change this. So let's make this even half inch. There we go. OK, so that looks good. Now what happens if we want to add some more rows. Well, we have a couple of ways we could do this. We can either insert another table, which will insert a table right at that point. Let's say we want that one to be two rows and two tables. So you can see how that looks. Looks like it's actually set and you can enter text directly in there. Or another way to do this is to go here and then click on table and insert a row. So we've inserted that row and notice that it's the same size as the row above. So now we can add more content in here. So let's say we wanted to insert a graphic. So you click on insert, click on picture. And we'll just enter our graphic right there. And now we want that graphic to be in the center. So we'll go right back up here to cell alignment. And we'll say we want it. OK, so we're now ready to save this. We'll go ahead and click OK. Again, you'll see that the images may or may not appear as full size. That will depend on the actual size of the image. So when the image is rather large, it will be reduced to a thumbnail in the non view here but we're ready to go ahead and save this so click on save and now we're ready to use that template to create a knowledge article so once we've prepared the knowledge article template we're ready to create a knowledge article using that template by article type simply click on new and then new art knowledge article And we select the article type as being FAQ because that was the article type we selected for the knowledge article template we created. And because there's more than one template for that knowledge article type, we have to go up here and select the one that we want. And we'll give it a title. And 
since we have all of our required information filled out, we go ahead and click on article. This will grab the template and insert it into our text, our rich text area of the knowledge article record. And to edit it, we simply click on the plus sign that will open up our rich text editor. And now we can go in and change the text that we want. So in this case, we're just gonna change the word template to demo. We want to make sure that that is a little bit bigger. So we got 24 points and let's make it bold. I like the way it's aligned. We'll leave that alone. And then you would simply go down and replace any of the text that you wanted in your knowledge article. And that would be it. If you want to add rows, you add rows. You want to add it insert tables, you can add or insert tables, add or insert graphics, you can add links, and just let me show you a simple way to add a link. So right here we want to insert a hyperlink, and we'll call this Beyond 20, and we'll put our address in there. Click OK, and now we've got a nice little hyperlink in there. And we're ready to save this knowledge article. So if you would like more information about how to utilize the Beyond 20 rich text templates for ShareWell Knowledge Management System, please contact us by going to our website, www.beyond20.com, or send us an email at info at beyond20.com. My name is Guy Baker. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on how to use ShareWell in this ShareWellian world in which we live. Thank you.